Hey guys, Beast Twinkle has here, Jay from Upside Up Productions. I'm just quickly going to preface this review with the fact that I am still in college, so I'm sorry that it looks kind of unprofessional. I just don't really have my usual stuff. Anyway, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of the review. Hello everybody, Beast Twinkle has here, Jay from Upside Up Productions, and I'm here right now with a brand new LEGO City 20014 set, the 60055 Monster Truck. This set comes with 78 pieces, one minifigure, and costs $10 here in the US. Uh, of course, it's just a monster truck with one figure, and it is a bit expensive. It costs more, almost 13 cents per piece, which is pricey, but, I mean, overall, it's a pretty good set. I like it. Let's get down close and check out the minifigure. And here he is, looking pretty good in a matching color scheme to the truck. He's got black pants, a new printed uh, lime green race jacket with gray gloves, a black crash helmet, and a rather old looking face. Not really sure if, not really big on monster trucks, uh, but somehow I doubt that most of the drivers are like old guys. I've, if I were Lego, I would have picked a different face on them. This one's getting a bit concerningly common too. Around the back, he's got some nice back printing on his jacket with a logo that's not featured anywhere else in the truck, which is kind of weird. Uh, would have been cool maybe if that was the red, like, star thing that they had, or some of those tribal graphics that they have on the side of the... actually on the monster truck, or even the number. His number is 27, which is on the top. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's a really cool torso. Um, sure, I'll find other uses for it. It'd be a nice, like, ski jacket for sure. Um, apart from that though, he's got a wrench, I guess, as an accessory, and he matches the truck very well colors-wise, so he's a pretty good figure. Now that's about it for him, uh, let's move on to the truck itself. And here it is. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's a standard four stud wide city vehicle, just so you see right there, just with these giant wheels and a special suspension. It uses the large wheel arches here, the ones that don't go down quite as far to be able to fit these giant tires. And it's got a big hole construction underneath. Uh, it would have been nice to have it a little bit larger. Uh, the scales was a bit strange as it is, but I mean, can't really complain. I understand the price point and everything they're going for, and making it larger wouldn't have been reasonable for that. Up on the top you can see number 27 of course, another sticker, lots of stickers on this set. Uh, and that's a clip to hold his wrench in, I guess, in case he needs to make last second repairs. The back spoiler is a very strange sticker. I'm not a big fan of this one. It's a bit silly for me. Like, I would have thought monster trucks would be, like, gritty and ag aggressive. Uh, but that's, like, a silly sticker. On top, that 27 is also a little bit silly looking, kind of. I don't really know. Um, I was planning on using this set and modifying it to be, like, a tuner, tuned sports car. And those graphics on the side look really good and would totally match, but some of the other ones, not so much. I may actually end up taking them off. Not quite sure yet. Uh, apart from that, you can see right here, they've definitely paid attention to detail. You've got little tiny shock absorber, well, one by one round plates, or round, round plates designed to look like shock absorbers and things. And, I mean, it's really good. You can barely even see them when the wheel's on, so it's just nice, kind of like a attention detail thing. Around the back here, you can see it looks a little bit strange. Uh, no license plate, obviously, because uh, monster trucks don't need the license plates, but actually, oh, around the front, there is a license plate. Uh, it's, again, a little bit strange. It's nice for me because I'm planning on turning it into a regular car, but I guess it needs to be street legal. Uh, as we move on, you, kinda, you can see the springs in the front of that. Inside, you've got a gray steering wheel and a blue little backrest chair bracket thing. Not quite sure if this is accurate at all to monster trucks. I mean, it's it can't really be. It's just the Lego standard Lego City interior. It would be nice if they were matching in color or something, but I mean, it's nice already. Definitely does its job and looks really good. Anyway, that's about it for the set. It's time to come back out and wrap everything up. Okay, so I mean, this is a good little set for 10 bucks. It's a bit expensive, um, so really, I honestly, I don't think I can recommend it unless you have the parts to turn it into a tuner car, in which case things like that sticker would not be very nice. Uh, but if you can turn it into a tuner car or you have that other monster truck set, last year's monster truck transporter, and want to do like a monster truck rally or something with two opposing teams or whatever, uh, I don't think I can recommend it. 
if you do have enough parts to turn it into a tuner car or to you do have that other set definitely buy it it's reasonably cheap i mean it's not really reasonably cheap it's pretty expensive but it's like it's one of the sets you can get 10 bucks is definitely expensive for it but it's a bit too big to fit into a smaller price point so i mean you can't really get that upset with it um I miss like the $9 sets, like that old ambulance I have was 9 bucks. it was cheaper than this and much bigger. But anyway, that's kind of off the point, that was what, 6-7 years ago? Yeah. Alright, that's about it, thanks for watching, and check out my other LEGO City reviews, particularly the other 2014 ones. I've got one up already, and more will be coming soon. See you guys!